everyone, Aaron here with Happy Hydro, and this week we are digging into a garden additive called basalt rock dust. And this interesting soil amendment is getting a lot of attention from both sides of the gardening community. People are asking, does this help your plants grow? Is this some kind of scam? Are there mystical powers among the rocks? I don't know everything, but we're gonna find some real exciting information on this seemingly boring rock dust. First, let's lay down some basics. Basalt rock is an igneous rock type which means it forms from the cooling of lava and magma. And the benefit to this type of rock is that it is chock full of micronutrients that we're gonna touch on a little later. And when it's ground up into a fine powder, it creates basalt rock dust, which is the usable form for your plants. And there are some pretty well-known areas for basalt rock, and you can guess they're around volcanic activity. So that means Hawaii, the central United States, and the Canadian Rockies in the Pacific Northwest are great examples of where to find basalt rock. Now, when talking about soil health and nutrients for your plants, most people concentrate on the NPK levels, and that's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. But what we often skip over are micronutrients that are very important and critical to your plant's health. Those micronutrients consist of calcium, magnesium, boron, manganese, and zinc. And if we take into consideration Liebig's law of minimums, which states that even in an abundance of nutrients, plants can't grow to their full potential if even one nutrient is a deficiency. So replenishing these micronutrients is pivotal to your soil's health and your plant growth. Not only does basalt rock dust replenish those micronutrients, it helps retain moisture in your soil, which is critical for during dry spells and even water management. And now during my research, there are a lot of divisive views on the use of rock dust. Anything from being that if you use impure rock dust, it's gonna harm your plants, to that there are no visible effects from basalt rock dust, to even a culture of believing that it's some kind of scam from big quarry to sell you byproducts from the mining process as a garden supplement. Now, I understand your concern. We all love our plants. We work hard for our money, so we don't want to waste our time and effort and energy on something that isn't going to work. And you're absolutely right. But what we don't want to overlook is that we're using this material to feed our soil, which in turn is going to help grow bigger and better plants. So what you want to do to find a good source of basalt rock dust, research your supplier. Try to find one that uses a reputable source for their rock dust and does tests on it for purity and quality. This way you know exactly what you're getting and you're conditioning your soil in a helpful way. And trust me, you're gonna be setting up a great foundation for your plants. Also on my research journey, I found a study that talks about using basalt rock dust in gardens and larger scale growing operations that will help sequester some of that carbon from the atmosphere. Not only are you helping your plants, you're helping the whole environment too. You're like a real Captain Planet. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Now, if you wanna learn more about that study, I do have a link down in the description for it. Now let's get this amendment into your gardening practices. But first, here's a word uh, from me. Let's take that hobby of yours to a new level. Get back to growing with the complete beginner grow kit from Happy Hydro compiled by our experts with the best components in the market today. So head on over to happyhydro.com and check out our Grow Kit Calculator to find the perfect fit for you. You'll be growing like a pro with Happy Hydro. 
So if you're using a pre-mixed soil, try to find one that has basalt rock dust already built into it. If you're transplanting or building your own soil, uh, what we recommend is one tablespoon per gallon of medium. So if you're using a five gallon fabric pot, you guessed it, it's gonna be five tablespoons of basalt rock dust. Also, if you're going to use a larger scale operation, such as a garden or landscaping, we recommend 4.4 pounds of basalt rock dust for every 120 square feet. And it's super easy to use. All you have to do is gently dig into the surface of your soil and disperse that rock dust evenly uh, once a month during your growing season. Another cool kind of tip that I found during my research adventure was that there's this idea called paramagnetism. And what paramagnetism is, means that there are trace elements and minerals that aren't magnetic on their own, but when they're introduced to an environment with strong magnetic fields and other minerals and elements and factors to work alongside with, they almost create this chain of magnetism that you know you can see it works with the minerals and elements, the plant and the earth all in one. And they found that igneous rocks such as basalts and granites showcase those paramagnetic properties. After studying soils from around the world, scientists have found that the healthiest soils with the best grow rates and highest crop yields show high paramagnetic values. And on the other side of that, soils that have a lot of insects or disease showcase very low paramagnetic values. And I am no expert on this topic. So comment down below if there's some real deal concepts going on, or this is some voodoo bro science I found on the internet. That is the basics of basalt rock dust, how it's gonna help improve your life, how to keep yourself safe and unafraid of adding this to your garden or indoor grow. And uh, that's it, that's all I got. So until next time, stay happy friends.